Lord, I want to be holy, precious in your sight, pleasing in the Think about this now. I'm going to read from 1 John chapter 3. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when he appears, we will be like him, because we will see him just as he is. And everyone who has this hope fixed on him purifies himself just as he is pure. Holiness. Where does the holiness come from? It won't happen unless you have that hope. Because your mind, your spirit will be every place else. You'll be distracted by the voice of the enemy. Listen, we're not finished yet. We're not perfected yet. We're in the process. He's bringing us from glory to glory. He is conforming. This is the great promise. Romans 8, 29. That whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed into the image of his son, Christ Jesus. The potter is still still molding, forming. Still working on us, yep. We're not finished. And when you realize that, that's a good cause to be humble. Okay? Holiness and humility are locked together. Yes. This hope will be a purifying hope, making us holy just as he is holy. Okay? Because the one who has this hope, fixed on Jesus, purifies himself just as he is pure. Okay? Mm. Our holiness... Our humility, our hope, our faith is all based on one thing alone. Our relationship with God the Father. Yes. And that relationship is based on one thing alone, Jesus Christ. It's about relationship. Mm-hmm. It's not about religion. It's not about relics. It's not about rituals. No. It is about a relationship with God the Father that is only available through the atoning work of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mm. Abiding in God's word is going to raise faith in your life. That faith will be the, the conviction. It will be the assurance of the things that you hope for based on what God has spoken to you. Praise God. It will give you that power to have joy, that that joy will be manifest, that a joy that is unshakable. That nothing that's going on in this present world, not with the economy, not with ISIS, not with this and that, not with your job, not with your mortgage, that there is a joy that is unshakable as long as your hope is set on Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're not abiding in God's word, and that may be old fashioned, because we're not doing that much anymore. If you're not abiding, dwelling, Spending your time in God's Word. Having, and more than that, it says devote yourself to prayer. Prayer, you know, it's like this. We, do, we come together and we do these studies prayerfully that it's an encouragement mm. to all of, everybody that hears it. An encouragement. I hope that this is a blessing to you. Yes. I have a foundation for that hope. And the foundation for that hope is that God's Word always accomplishes God's purpose. Amen. And you're getting some God's word here. Yes. All right. That's why I can have that hope. It will accomplish his purpose. Yes. But his purpose is going to be determined. You have a choice to make. Like Joshua said to the people in the wilderness, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we will serve Serve the Lord. Lord. Let me say this one more time. What you believe will determine your choices. What you choose will determine your life. Mm. And that life needs to be based a life of faith. Based on, it'll give you that conviction of the things that you're hoping for. Jesus said that when he returns, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith? And that faith has to have a manifestation that you are working the things that you're hoping for. Okay? You're working based on the things that you have heard from God. Not on your own. Not on your own. Okay? If you trust in the world and the things of the world, they will fail. And God may sit back and say, well, that's what you chose. That's right. That's what the Word of God teaches. You know, the vast majority of people, the vast majority of Christians, and as last survey I saw, which was a few years ago, I think it was like 85% of Christians believe that the Scripture says that God helps those who help themselves. Which is, by the way, a lie from the pits of hell. Yes, it is. God helps those 
who cry out to him for help. Ta-da! That's, that's why. There is so much that we have lost sight of because we are living in the perilous last days when if the time were not shortened, even the elect could be deceived. Okay? We're going to talk about this more. I do want to talk about the fact, you know, this, this scheme that the devil has to deprive you of that abundant, joy-filled, faith-led life that God desires for you. God's love above the heavens. God's love deeper than the sea. Shine.